ready to get underway. And just shows you the effort they put in. Yeah, yeah. It's just threaded through the gap. First runs, first boundary. Beautifully picked up. Fine leg up inside the circle. Was waiting for the signal from umpire O'Shaughnessy. And well may you dance, mister. Ten gone, 17 without loss. Now, is this an opportunity for Phillips? Oh, he set himself well. Had to shuffle across. He was going forward, then he was going sideways. Got his feet set. And in the end, a comfortable catch. Mills makes the breakthrough. Birmingham end. And he just continues. In his slots. Easy flow of the bat. Four more. I've seen him play, and so far, been very impressive indeed. Whether it's a flick off a hip for six. Wait, wait. And he's just squeezed it through. And it's not going to hold up either. No matter where the Welsh fire bowl, Will Smead is dispatching them. They're walking on the stairs. Well pulled away by Maureen. And his bicep to D midwicket and D backward square with absolute precision. And Elion strike oh, you enjoy that. Get up there into the hollies. Go on, they'll be loving it up there. They'll only get noisier as the night goes on, Nick Knight. Good signs, aren't they? Oh, that's a good sign as well. Flat. Hard six for Mo and Ali again. Add another one to uh, the total. I'm sure he's learned his lessons from there. Down the wicket, down the ground, over the heads of the, the Birmingham Phoenix support staff down there. First time, I don't mind the first one. Oh, how hard. How, oh, that's long. That is long. Second tier, Mo. Oh, right on cue. Right on cue. There's that swing again. Out of the way. I mean, look, if you've not played the game, just get out of the way. I mean, I know you're trying to... Yeah, just... No, no, don't do it. Oh, it's going long way, isn't it? He actually plays spin differently now. But down on the ground. And that has gone even further. Unbelievable hitting from Mo and Ali. Go on, Mo. This is seriously good hitting. And it's just clean. There's not a poor hit amongst He gets more rhythm in his shot. You see the bat on the ground, the rhythm. When you watch him against the quicks, the bat's in the air, really high. So he's sort of catering for the different demands of the ball coming down. I think he's taken again. Good effort, young lad. Good effort. Go again. Oh, crunch through the offside all along the ground for four. Ian Cobain nowhere near it. This is wonderful stuff from Mo and Ali. Uh, it's incredible batting. It is absolutely incredible batting. Back by a good first ten. Oh my goodness me! Smeed! Smeared! How far is that? About ten metres away from where we are in our pod now. And I said there will be 200 scored in this competition. Will he push for two here, Mo? Will he push for two? He will. He'll come back. Skipper leading from the front with a half century here at Edge Baston. Yeah, straight to the Hollies. Everyone's standing. Everyone is standing here. And 22 balls for her half century. Swung away leg side again in the gap. No, it is two. Not even the very quick Glenn Phillips could get near that. Go home until February. Jeez. Should be out, will be out, very comfortable. Ian Cobain down at the long arm boundary, but it's been a wonderful hand from the Phoenix skipper. Didn't quite get it inside that line. In the gap, and away to the boundary, Livingston's first four. It's a great example when you see the replay there, how quick his hands are. One of the reasons why he's such a dangerous player. Quick hands again, gone again. Livingston's finding his form now. Barely got 15, 20 foot off the ground, that one. Things have just slowed down a bit for the home team. That was short-lived.
Smead goes to 50. And it's a magnificent innings from a very, very talented young player. His first 50 in the 100. Quicker ball to finish with. Oh, my. He hit that hard. See you later. <laughs> Into the hollies. Liam Livingston starting to find his range. Goes wide. Catch it, he's got him. He's got him this time. Glenn Phillips, all will be forgiven. Lights him up and scratches him out. Yep, the bowlers and the fielders are staying where they are. They're not going to rush in and celebrate. Payne will get back to his mark, but a brilliant piece of bowling from Payne, as we've been speaking about. Darren Goff, he still says, Yorker, that's the best ball you can bowl in this game. Man came up from fine leg, and that's exactly where Benny Hale decides to go. Well executed padded actually, but right over onto the offside, just helped the ball. And it's way and I think Benny Howes is very pleased with that. Should be out, is out. Ben Duckett makes no mistake at extra cover. Well, that's going to go away for four. Luke Fletcher's not hauling that in. Unfortunate, but it uh, takes the score up to 173. And cover. Goes towards mid wicket, finds the gap. Highest score in the 100. Oh, that's gone miles. That has gone miles. They don't even bother looking. The Welsh firefielders, they're all just walking back to the dressing room. Everybody knew from the moment it hit the back. Quite magnificent. 59 of 28 balls, but what a way to finish the innings. Runs immediately. Could be four of them. I think it has just touched the boundary sponge. Pat Brown was in pursuit. Huge appeal. Umpire O'Shaughnessy raises the finger. And Bantam's hopes of finding form with the Welsh Fire's chances. Yeah, it was a brilliant delivery from Milne at that pace with that late movement. You are coming up on screen now. Clattering halfway up middle and leg. That was quick. It was 90 miles an hour. Beautifully played. Right on his tiptoes as well, getting to the top of the bounce from Ben Duckett. Shows you what kind of form he's in. Duckett. The hard length from Tom Helm. Offside field duck. It's just a back foot punch. Nice. Oh, what a pickup that is. It was a crisp sound. Like a rifle shot off the middle of the bat of Ian Cobain. Going to need much more of it, but that's the sort of thing. Yes. A level assist. Is it going to be over waist height? Amazing to think that he's actually played the reverse to that, as opposed to the orthodox pull. Free hit. All the way into the hollies. And a bright end to the Tahir set for the Welsh fire 20 balls gone 155 from 80 needed Carved through just sat up nicely power play still in play so easily filtered through that offside field Yorker thrown in in the air would have been a stunning chance would have been a fabulous take but the ball was going too swiftly 
Do it at your peril. Ben Duckett just getting too far across. And Deadeye Howell clatters into leg stump. Looking to ramp that down to the fine leg region. Fine leg was in the ring, so he knew if he got it either part. We needed a replacement overseas. Oh, oh gone. Gone a, a long way. Go and pick that out of the crowd. Well, that's a shot. And he started off on fire tonight. I mean, that is a shot to the longest part of the cricket ground. <laughs> Long way away here. <laughs> yes! Now, hit it and walked off. Just knew. Good decision from Moeen. Keep Tahir going. And Tahir doesn't disappoint. Skipper's having a great night. Oh, can he get there? Yes, he can. Simple. Leave it to nobody else, Imran. Imran with a couple. There he goes again. <laughs> He's milking it. Keep going. In any side. I mean, that again. To the left hander, the googly, not picked it, tried to play with the spin through the leg side. It's gone the other way. Leading edge. Cornball. Good night. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, you love it. <laughs> the lady in the crowd, though, is doing a, a goff. She's looking at the phone. <laughs> yeah. She don't even know there's a. You can't do that after Dennis. Can't find the middle of the bat, but they find the boundary, and that's what's uh, important at the moment. Can they just build something that gives them a sniff later on? The game is drifting away quickly from them. It's part of the ground. And it's going to need to be big. That is big as well, but, but, just, 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 just. Goes again, this time not the middle of the bat. And simply taken. Moeen Ali's held himself back, but he's having a night to remember. So are the Phoenix. They're in complete control. Oh, big strike. Big strike, big boundary. All the way. That's the problem. Against the right-hander, he's hitting with the spin. And he's a pretty decent player as well. That's a super strike. Goes again, helped on its way. Goes for four. Excellent work, just using the wrist to get it behind square. Nisham on strike, need a boundary. Instead, it is as simple as it gets. That looked like one of the slower balls from Pat Brown, he's so good at it. It's all about the Phoenix. Gotcha. <laughs> just, just, just coming forward. He might have just misjudged it, Adam Milne in the end. But he could have gone to Milne, he's gone to Howell, and they continue to pick out wickets. To create that bit of mystery, there he goes, just a normal delivery, just back of a limb, trying to help it towards that short boundary. And again, another comfortable catch. They've just not middled anything really, have they? And it's, super, it's a good catch on the boundary there. Another one for Tahir, is it? It should be, and it is. Very comfortably taken. In the end, Will Smead, it is the young man under the ball. And Imran Tahir's got his third. Target that front pad. That one there. That one there. That one there. Thank you very much. That'll do. It's gone and he's off. Go on, one son. He'll find it. He'll find it. Don't worry. Looking for the paddle sweep. Absolutely plumb in front. You just knew. You knew it was coming. The slider. Straight onto that pad. See you later. Oh, yes, he can! You did it, Imran Tahir! What a special hat trick that is! Do a lap! Do a whole lap! Go on, son! That is brilliant. One of the great celebrations of all time, and Imran Tahir has set Edge Best in a light. Oh, that is sensational. So, so, so good. Absolute entertainer. He went with the two balls we called. The straight one that just slid onto the pads, the LBW, and then bowls the wrong and absolutely perfectly straight through pain onto the stumps, and that'll do us. That will do us.